Why do some people build their foundation walls or foundation plinth walls with clay bricks and others use rocks or call them hardcore? What's going on guys? Welcome back to this channel that's all about architecture, engineering and construction. And we are also, of course, we are all about bettering the African narrative. So you might have asked yourself this question at one point in your life. Why do you find that some walls, be it for the structures or be it for boundary walls, why do some people use clay bricks? For their foundation walls and in other scenarios people use rocks or hardcore for their foundation brick walls okay so in this video we are going to be discussing the different scenarios in which uh, one is considered and the other is not okay now uh, when i talk about plinth walls those are literally the substructure walls the walls of the building that are below the ground level okay now i want us to also note that uh, talking about storage structures these walls the plinth walls are not necessarily structural walls depending on your construction methodology but if we are talking about um bungalows that is houses that do not have you know many columns and you know beams and things like that these walls are actually structural elements okay because literally all the weight from the roof is transferred to the walls of the building and then that weight is transferred safely to the to the plinth walls and then from the plinth walls to the foundation itself to the ground itself okay so these plinth walls are actually a structural element for bungalows and also in some scenarios they are structural elements for um, storage buildings why do i say in some scenarios when it comes to storage buildings it is because usually the reason why we put these plinth walls is so that they can act as retaining walls for the backfill that's all that we have backfilled into the space where the building is actually sitting so that soil needs to be retained after it has been compacted remember that is the soil on which the ground slab is actually sitting and in some scenarios we actually have ground beams on which the ground slab actually sits okay but the main function of these walls is to actually act as retaining walls for the soil that has been backfilled for the slab to actually sit on that is actually the ground slab so now mainly the strength that you need there is lateral strength you need lateral strength not literally compressive strength or the vertical strength because most of the load on plinth walls is not coming from up to down it is coming sideways okay because you have soil that is being retained in the inside of the structure and then we have the outside of the structure which is exposed so which means there are more forces that are pushing the wall outwards this plinth wall i mean pushing from outwards of the plinth wall to the outside of the structure so i want us to talk about the different scenarios in which we choose to use clay bricks and other scenarios where we choose to actually use uh rocks i'm going to call them rocks instead of hardcore okay but the two are interchangeably uh the two are interchangeable okay um so let's say you have a terrain that is a hilly terrain for example if you go in areas that are very hilly okay and the soils actually have a lot of marine in them and a lot of stones in them usually when it's very hilly there is a lot of uh, surface runoff okay the rainwater is always running off on the surface at a very high speed okay so usually that water has a lot of very very powerful forces uh, so first of all uh, just to make this clear uh, if you happen to use um if you happen to use rocks for the foundation they are certainly and obviously going to give you a stronger retaining wall or a stronger plinth wall than using clay bricks okay but sometimes in certain scenarios that strength all that strength is not really required or it is not really needed okay let me give you an example of hills when you talk about hills usually people who are building building in areas that have very 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 steep terrain the surface runoff from water uh, from rainwater is always very very uh, very very speedy okay so when all that water comes from wherever the, up, the upper side of the hill and it's all running off um it comes with a lot of force and if you happen to use clay bricks that retaining wall is not going to last long enough because that water is going to power overpower it after a long period of time remember that stability of walls is directly proportional to the weight of the wall okay so for the wall to actually be stable it needs to be heavy and when you use actually hardcore it gives you a heavier retaining wall therefore it gives you a stronger retaining wall or a stronger plinth wall so when the water comes it does not easily take it away or does not easily eat away the wall okay so if you're if you're building in hills it's very important that you use actually hardcore rocks okay so that you're able to stand the test of time and then if we talk about areas that are waterlogged that is basically in swamps 
um, swamps have a tendency of having expansive soils. They have the ability to, con to expand and also to contract and also they have this ability to sink in. So when you use a retaining wall that is actually made of rocks or a plinth wall that is made of rocks, you get a firmer base. Okay, the base is firmer because it is much wider, almost just about two times wide, as wide as the base that is created by clay bricks. Okay, so you get a wider base and therefore you reduce on the chances of the building having to sink or to settle in the soil. Okay, so that's very important. Also, they are very good at preventing capillary of water. To the superstructure okay that is literally rising damp rising through the plinth walls and also going to the structure which later on might cause peeling of walls peeling of paint and things like that so in a scenario where you are actually in a waterlogged area you are better off using rocks for your foundations than using clay bricks okay or rather if you were to use clay bricks you might need to double the thickness of your wall okay so um probably the other scenario where in where we would literally use um plinth walls that are actually made of clay bricks so if you find yourself in a place that literally has average soil average loamy soils okay you do not need to use hardcore for your foundations or for your plinth walls and things like that you just need to have uh, your clay bricks arranged in a header bond and you are really good to go okay of course if you talk about them in terms of budget um, the rocks or the hardcore are certainly going to be more expensive than clay bricks okay uh, in terms of buying and also in terms of the cement that is consumed in building them for example let's say if uh, a bag of cement would just will, would take you about 2.5 to 3 square meters of walling if you had to use rocks uh, a bag of cement will literally take you about two square meters or even less two or less square meters okay so if you had to accumulate that over longer walls for example in terms of plinth walls for boundary walls or for the structure itself um you might realize that you're actually going to be using more cement if you are doing a bound if you're doing walls with uh, rocks okay so i hope you had a lot to learn from this video uh don't remember to consult your engineer where on whether to use uh, rocks that is hardcore or whether, or whether to use clay bricks and that is very important so what we do on this channel is that we try to educate you as much as possible so that you be thoughtful at the time of making decisions when you are building your structure so that you don't spend on what is not necessary you do not compromise on what is very important okay thank you very much guys for watching i hope you've had a lot to learn from this video in case there's anything you haven't understood please hit in the comment section so that we can explain that further in another video otherwise thank you very much guys for watching and have yourself a good time